I'm Anil Kumar and we'll explore a few examples on direct variation in this video. The question here is, find the constant of variation for each direct variation. Two situations given to us are, A. The volume of water varies directly with time. The swimming pool contains 800 liters of water after 4 minutes. That's the first situation. The second one is, 3 kg of apples cost dollar 5. We know both are direct variations that is given to us. We need to find constant of variation. Correct? Now, first question is what is this constant of variation? Right? So, do you know what is constant of variation? As we know, direct variation occurs when the dependent variable varies with the same factor as independent variable right so whenever we have uh, linear equations or such situations we are talking about two variables so we have dependent variable and independent variable we are trying to see relation between the two if it is a direct relation, in that case, dependent variable is equal to k times independent variable. Now, this k is called constant of variation, right? So, this is constant of variation. Correct. Now, let's look into the questions again. The first part is, the volume of water varies directly with time. The swimming pool contains 800 liters of water after 4 minutes. So in this particular situation, dependent variable is the volume of water. And independent variable is time. So we can have volume is equals to k times time. Do you understand? So that is how the relation is. We are saying this is a direct variation. Therefore, we can write volume v so volume is being represented by the variable v is directly with time t right so time we are writing t since it is direct we are using k the constant of variation now the question is we need to find constant of variation how do we do that we are given 800 liters of water after four minutes so we can write 800 so let me write 800 for volume so we have 800 liters that is the units. Let's put it in the brackets. K and T is 4. Let's say 4 minutes, right? So units is minutes. Okay. Now to find K, we can divide, right? So, so we divide both sides by 4 minutes. In that case, we get the value of K. So we say K is equals to 800 liters over four minutes you get the idea right now you could simplify this dividing 800 by 4 we get 200 so we get 200 units are liters per minute so that is the value of k correct so now we can write down the answer and the answer clearly is that the constant of variation in this case is 200 liters per minute Right. So that is how you need to find the constant of variation. Right. Now here is another example, part B. 3 kg of apples cost $1.5. So more you buy, more you pay. Less you buy, less pay. Right. So that means weight or mass of apple is related with the cost. Right. So we need to find rate. So we have cost is changing. So we say cost of apple is equals to constant times let us say weight w right so in that case what is constant equals to so we say constant is equals to that constant of variation is cost c over weight right so in our case cost is given to us as dollar five we'll write dollar five right divided by the weight of three kg right three kg correct so that is how we can get the value of k so from here we can say k is equals to dollar 5 
over 3 you could write it in decimals per kg per kg right so that is how you can actually find the value of k right so the relation will so that's the value of k so you can say cost is equals to 5 over 3 times w right so in this case you could also write the relation as cost is equals to 3 I mean 5 over 3 sorry cost is k is 5 over 3 5 over 3 times w where c is in dollars and weight is in kg so that is the unit right so normally this constant of variation will have units so always include units in your answer so the first case we get constant of variation as 200 liters per minute in the second case the constant of variation is 5 over 3 dollars per kg. Right? That is how you should be answering these questions. Thank you and all the best.